to do it. for rapper T.I. Three others were injured. Sources say one of the injured has now been charged. Breaking news, new video just released of a gunman who opened fire at a rap concert in Manhattan, killing one person, and cops now say wounding two others. One man right now under arrest, and police tonight trying to identify the others in this chilling and dramatic surveillance video. The NYPD said they have arrested one shooter, the rapper known as Troy Ave who they say fired a gun right as the rapper known as T.I. was set to perform. The night it happened, somebody called me um, right, right in the midst of the melee. But the call I got, I knew my brother was dead. I was here in the house and I received a phone call and I was told that my son had been shot and it didn't look good. Benga, he was a good person, very athletic, outgoing, well-spoken. Everybody liked Benga. I will always remember him. Not only a, a bigger brother, but he was a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was family to me. I knew him forever. My kids grew up with him. He wasn't a kid out there, he wasn't a violent kid. He wasn't a kid that would look for problems. He liked the ball, he liked the music. What was wrong with that? Banger, Edgar, this is where he grew up at. This, this building that we're next to is 133rd Avenue when we moved out here when we were kids. He's a mother's son, he's, a, he's her baby, so he still lived with my mother in this area. He was a loving, caring, kind, thoughtful person. One thing I could tell you, if I was to be walking and I had bags, it would be like, Ma, let me help you, let me get that. That's who was Edgar. Edgar was not a street fighter. He was not a, a, a kid that you could say, oh, he's always into problems. No, he wasn't like that. I taught him, you know, at a very young age, proper etiquette. Uh, I also taught him, you know, when you have an opportunity to help someone, help them. And I've always taught him, taught my children, you know, that you have to look out for one another. Remember him as a good man, not no foul individual. You know, I know he had people back. He was very protective, very adamant about that. He helped, you know, anyone that you know was allowed to come into his let God allowed to come into his life. He could know you for a week, you know, a day. He was very protective. I believe that was his calling to protect. Can I share something with you? I found out about this recently. He helped a young lady that was uh, being beat up by her, her boyfriend, actually at the Brooklyn Bridge. And he got into it, he got out the car, and he, where he where he got out to assist this young lady. And the person, the, the boyfriend, literally tried to throw him over the bridge, but he fought for his life. But he didn't, he, he would never tell me, you know, all these things. But, you know, since he passed, uh, I've heard so much, you know, that he's done for many, many people. But that's the type of guy he was. I love you, Edgar. I 
everybody to say The media's biggest, biggest misconception about my brother was that he was just an average Joe, angry dude, uh, a felon. And, and, cause I'm, I'm just summing it up. They threw as much, they could throw as, they throw as much out as possible. What troubles me most is the misinformation that's being sent out. NYPD knows Troy didn't shoot himself. They know Troy didn't shoot his bodyguard. That man died a hero. And to imply anything that Troy actually would hurt his lifelong friend is absolutely insane and irresponsible. People that were there, maybe they want to talk, maybe they don't want to talk. But there's so many theories going on that I just had to pull out, man. It's, it's just, it's depressing. I mean, it's human nature, but we feed on the car wreck. We feed, feed on the car accident. We feed on the car catastrophe. And I'm a little disappointed in how everybody jumped in and had two cents to say about it without really knowing what the truth is, man. You know, there was articles up about him before we even identified him. So there's a lot of things that really, you know, mess with us in regards to just being able to Get through that first night of, of, of seeing our brother and, and, and knowing that he was dead. They right. painted my child as being some gangster on the street. They portrayed him as being this this kid that's you know a, a hoolum on the street. Basically, uh, thugs that uh, uh, basically celebrate the violence they've lived all their lives, and unfortunately, that violence oftentimes manifests itself during their performances. And that's exactly what happened last evening. The lifestyles that they lived, the lifestyles they came out of, oftentimes uh, uh, follows them into the uh, entertainment world and the success they have. The first thing they put out uh, was uh, that Troy Ave shot my brother. That's the first thing they put out, and he shot himself, you, you know. And where'd you get that from? Oh, I think media went too crazy. They didn't wait for the facts at all. They just wanted a story. They portrayed it as if I said that Troy Ave came in there shooting, which I never said, ever. He was beefing with Mano. I saw Mano at the hospital. They love the culture, but hate the people, so but they use bad opportunities to blow it up and say this is what's wrong with the culture. Don't have nothing to do with the culture. This not nothing new. Them always want to blame um, hip-hop when certain people are from the culture and they have certain issues and things got out of hand, you know, that's just what it is. You know, it's a personal. Unfortunately, though, it's a, you know, bad news sells. That's what sells headlines. That's what gets the clicks online. That's what gets the ratings up on the nightly news. This is his job, right? He has to show reasons why NYBD treats us why they want it, why they do it. That's his, he, he, he has to support his team, right? You gotta create us as these, 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 these violent people in order for it to look good when they do things to us. You gotta understand that. So it's, it's, it's just not about him, it's just using him in this scenario to continue to push the narrative that we, are, we, we all need to be in jail. We all need to be locked up. There's too much violence in the black community. So a black will die 1% or less at the hands of the police and 99% at the hands of a civilian, most often another black. The real danger to them is not the police, the real danger to them 99 out of 100 times, 9,900 out of 1,000 times are other black kids who are gonna kill them. That's the way they're gonna die. Not everybody is a rapper, artist, or they're not animals. You know, you have real artists that take this serious. You know, feed their families with this. And when you do stuff like that, you take it from their mouth, so it's disrespectful. Right? When you have shootings like that, but then you have me and Main on which we was on the scene. You know, police behind that, they've been trying to give us a hard time going to club, the booking's been hard. We will never forget or fail to honor the achievements of Bill Bratton. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced Tuesday that NYPD Commissioner William Bratton will retire next month and take a job in the private sector. They don't understand it, they speak on it negatively, but we just gotta start watching how we moving and how we doing. If you wanna be in the music business, there's certain things you gotta leave at the door at some point, at some point. 
we all street niggas. Okay, cool, I get it. But how real you want to keep it? You want to keep it so real that we got 100 years or you dead? Nigga be like, damn, that was the realest nigga in the world. That ain't cool. I don't think that's cool. So we got a, a job and a duty for, for our families to do all this work that we done to get out of the pain that we was in just to mess that up now? No. That ain't cool. And that ain't, that ain't gangster. That's stupid. It's dumb. Locked in the jail, but I'm gon' get free. I wear icy gold chains, can't no brass break me. Pussy nigga tried to assassinate me. I took the gun from him and turned the tables round like a G. New York has a very specific self-defense statute. Someone has to be doing something or about to do something to you that's causing you to be able to react to do something to them. If he were anybody else but a black rapper, he would be looked upon as a hero. When the killers came in, this man took action. I can't go into any details on that, but he took action and he prevented more people from dying. We've heard a lot from the Republican right and the NRA, and they've always said that if someone comes in to cause harm, you have a right to defend yourself. You have a right to use a gun to defend yourself. And when that happens, you prevent more people from dying. This could have been another mass killing. I'm wondering, where's the NRA now? Why are they not speaking up in defense of this man? And I have to sadly think it's only because uh, he's a rapper, a black rapper at that. Why are they not standing behind Troy? You have to ask that. They arrested Troy Ave, uh, alleging that, or well, saying that he was the one that, you know, shot my son but then later on said, said that he was not the one that shot my son and that there was another gunman, there were never a follow-up on the story and my son's killer. Been so many interviews about Troy Ab, but they have nothing, the public have not been told or have been given any story on the follow-up of my son's killer. One person was killed last night during a concert for rapper T.I. Three others were injured. I think I had a party for probably like three days in a row. My birthday was good, like really, really good. Pool party, dinners, and then the concert. The vibe was, it was cool. When I got there, it was normal. I mean, it, was, it just started getting like a little bit too crowded. But other than that, it was, it was normal, like it was fun. Everybody was chilling, like drinks was just starting to come out. Um, the room was filling up. So we were just about to like have a drink and that's when like we heard like a fight. And then after, right after that it was like a shot. Well, shots. I think I got shot like with the first, the first bullet. All I know is I was just stuck in a position where I couldn't stand up and I just kept saying my leg, my leg. All I was thinking was like my leg. I couldn't really like say what happened to me. I had to wait a while for an ambulance, probably like the second ambulance or third because the other person was actually like right there dying. I'm upset with Urban Plaza because not only did they not follow the proper security procedure. That room was too crowded, it was too tight, it was too many people in there, and for somebody to just let off shots in a crowded place like that, it's like, it, I know it was not worth it. I hope they really like take action and like, you know, fix their system. Somebody hit that stage, I gotta represent it like no other, you heard? Right, right. Flatbush, what's up? Oh, you can't. You can't. It's a rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, 
Welcome home to Troy Ab. He was let out of jail on a $500,000 bond. His mom actually put up her house in order for him to be able to come home. Now, he is charged with attempted murder, weapons possession, and other things uh, for the incident that happened at the TI concert at Irving Plaza. Right now, he has to wear an ankle bracelet, and he cannot leave the city. He also has to stay away from all concert halls, bars, arenas, and performance venues. Today, we're here to announce the filing of a lawsuit in the Supreme Court of the state of New York, Kings County, alleging that this place let someone into the facility with a gun without checking them and but for their actions Troy would never have been shot and none of the ad incident that would took place that night would have happened he is the victim here he did not bring a gun into this place and we are seeking redress for the negligence the security here did not pat down anyone who came in the back door that's the problem here People that came in through the VIP entrance in the back were not checked by security. If you come in the front door here, everyone gets wanded and patted down. When people come in the back, they were not. That's how the gun was brought into this facility. He is charged right now on the advice of counsel because of the charges. He cannot make any statements relating to the facts. I'm going through a lot and I just want to get my life back. That's it. Thank you. And they asked him, well, do you have anything to say about Ronald? So I just want my life back. That speaks volumes. R.I.P. my real nigga B.A.N.G. Couldn't make your funeral, but I heard that you was fleet. Flying through the sky, know the luggage Louis V. When you get to heaven's door, save your boy a spare key. You in a better place, but I'm sad and enraged. Try not to let tears fall on the page. It's been a few days and the nigga still hurting. If you was here, you would say I hope you're still working. Can't explain the pain with a whole dictionary. There's nothing to explain. You niggas fictionary. Find out what's up when the shit goes down and you fighting for your life, not a homeboy around. Fuck them if they froze. I'm fucking with the Lord. He never let me down, never ran out the door. The fake help you appreciate the real more. It's opened up my eyes and shit I never would have saw. I'm OD stressed, but I'm OD blessed. And the khakis and Obamas in the bed getting rest. Using this time to get ready for the grind. Just like the saying, when I rise, I'm going to shine. I'm innocent. It ain't the end of your ass, not at all. This is just the beginning. I'm innocent, unless he's charging me with being real from the very beginning. I'm innocent. That's a fact, though. Can't finish the rest, though. Police sources say the rapper Troy Av was sitting at a red light in this red Maserati. He was approached by a gunman with a hood who opened fire, blasting out the window to his Maserati, striking the Brooklyn-born rapper in the arm and head. Troy Av was released from the hospital late Monday night following the Christmas Day shooting, which left him with multiple gunshot wounds, including one to the head. Av and his girlfriend were en route to visit family in Flatbush, New York, when a masked gunman approached his Maserati and began to fire into the driver's side window. Av was able to flee the scene, but not before getting hit in the head, back, and arm. Did investigators just crack an eight-month celebrity mystery? 31-year-old Daryl Campbell was arrested in this quiet Brooklyn home today. If we can uh, satisfy the conditions that the judge set concerning bail, um, he should be fine, barring uh, the government uh, appealing the decision by the judge. He's a very sharp, well-balanced individual, and he understands the gravity of the situation that he's in. And um, he sends all his love to his, his family and his loved ones. He has two charges, which are felon in possession of a firearm and transporting or receiving a firearm. Those are his two charges. My son didn't want to be here that night. And a situation was set up where, from what I understand, um, Troy Ab caused an argument or started I don't know, he hit some, attacked somebody. 
automatically my son, you know, stepped up. He took the first bullets. How did I get where I am today? Um, from being me. Um, I speak my mind, I like to tell the truth, and I think through truths, people start to pay attention because truths might ruffle feathers at times. In hip hop, people are talking about guns, people sure. are talking about shooting, people sure. are saying things like the police. Absolutely. And they go like, how is this helping the dialogue? As a hip hop artist, how do you reply to that? Well, first of all, I think that people need to take into consideration that hip hop traditionally has always been a reflection of the environment the artist had to endure before he made it to where he was. So if you want to change the content of the music, change the environment of the artist and he won't have such negative things to say. <laughs> <laughs>